there. Smart man. He's very smart. <laughs> hey, uh, the town of Fremont sure. in, in northwest Ohio, Charles Woodson was a star there, Heisman Trophy winner for Michigan. I was honored to cover the Heisman Trophy ceremony in New York yeah. when a kid from Fremont, Ohio won the Heisman Trophy. And Rob Lytle's a guy that is a college football Hall of Famer very soon, and very neat uh, what a great career he had and what he meant to this program. Yeah, it's a cool little uh, thing they've got in Fremont between uh, that city and the University of Michigan. Of course, there's a ton of Buckeye fans there as well. Uh, but they've obviously got a very soft spot for the University of Michigan as well because two of the greatest that have ever played inside the big house are from there. Daniel Dwyer is uh, has a story about the Lytle family. She talked with them last week, and... Here's, let's go to her now. Dan, that's right. I met up with Kelly Lytle, Rob Lytle's son, uh, and his wife, Tracy, um, who used to be married to Rob um, before he unfortunately passed away about five years ago now. Um, I was talking to fans earlier today, some Michigan fans. Obviously, you can see I have a lot of Michigan around me right now. One fan's had season tickets since 1975, and he kept talking about Rob Lytle's legacy to me. So check out this story. I'll tell you all about it. Rob Lytle, a name that brings back so many memories to his family, friends, former teammates, and the University of Michigan community. The kind of phrase that came up was, was two words, beloved and teammate. And so many people said they, they, they don't know if there's been, if there is a more beloved teammate that people have had, that players have had at the University of Michigan than Rob Lytle. The Michigan running back made quite the impact on the gridiron, breaking the school's career rushing record in three years with 3,307 yards. During his senior year in 1976, Lytle helped lead the Wolverines to a Big Ten championship, a Rose Bowl game, and was named as a first-team All-American. Lytle was drafted to the Denver Broncos, helping the team get to the Super Bowl his rookie season. His touchdown that game gave him the distinction of being the first player to ever score a touchdown in the Rose Bowl and the Super Bowl. And while some of those records have since been broken and Lytle died at the young age of 56 in 2010 from a heart attack, his spirit lives on. He seemed grueling on the grid, in the gridiron, but really he was just a very kind, loving person with a great sense of humor. He'd always make everybody laugh and feel comfortable. Tracy first met Lytle in seventh grade. They started officially dating in high school, went to Michigan together, transitioned to the NFL, got married, and had two children. She saw Lytle as a player, so willing to give of himself for the team. Unless he literally could not walk, um, he was going to be out there on the field. And she saw him as a friend, husband, father, and mentor. He touched so many lives, and he did that kind of as his, his life went on, too. So he always believed in giving back to the community. Tracy says it was in his heart and his nature to help others through work with organizations like the Listen Foundation, March of Dimes, United Way, and the Special Olympics. It's work he started during his playing days and continued long after he retired in 1983. And it's something his son Kelly says encompasses his true legacy. It's easy to talk about the football side of, of dad and, and kind of that legacy, um, but for those who really know him, they know that the legacy is much bigger than that because it, it, it needs to encompass who he was as a person and his desire to give back to others. The broad reach of his impact was shown to his family this year as they attended several events in his honor, the Super Bowl High School Honor Roll, College Football Hall of Fame celebration at Michigan, and the upcoming Hall of Fame induction in New York on December 8th, all of which can be described in one word. It's bittersweet um, because you're celebrating something that was so important to dad um, and you're having a chance to re remember him for the type of person he was and to surround yourself um, with others who also have great memories. And one of those memories is the Michigan Ohio State game. As dad would have said, um, there was no greater rivalry in sports and there was no greater game for him to play in than the Ohio State game. Um, there was such a deep respect that he had for, at the time, Woody Hayes and um, Ohio State and for what the rivalry and what the game represented. Now, the Lytle family shared so many more memories with me about Rob Lytle. We have some fans here that are excited. You can read all those memories in Kelly's book, To Dad, from Kelly. But that's all for now. We have some more fans coming up later in the show. Back to you guys. All right, thanks, Danielle. We'll take